is, but y'all definitely know who these nice people are. We have Melly and John Numbers coming up on the hot seat on the stream setup, going in with the Wii Fit, and then of course Melly with the Belma. And I got some word about Melly. You know yeah. how long he was playing Smash last night? How 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> grinding! Truly the grind never stops. The grind does not stop. Clearly he wants to see the fruits of his labor and he is seeing it right here, right now in winter semis against John Numbers taking a hot win last night. A hot, hot win uh, mm -hmm. at Waypoint. Yeah, and I mean, this really is what I love to see. Like, when it comes to a r being around majors, right before majors, right after majors, I love seeing the fire lit under people for this game that we play. And 4 a.m. is, that's a hot fire. That's a hot fire. And you got work at 6? Please, I don't want to hear it. You are <laughs> a grinder. <laughs> this is your grind era. I will be slumped. However, think of slumped. Neither player here really looking to be so, as they're both at a really even percentage here. And again, they're taking really good trades, whether it's their uh, their uh, projectiles being traded or themselves. You saw that numbers finally gain the gain the advantage here for a little bit for the, with the positioning, and it's all about positioning with Belmont, where you have to get a chance to use that axe, use that uh, that cross, or use that holy uh, holy water. Did you see Melly just take a lap right there, just run from one yes. side of the stage and then run back? That's a 4 a.m. antics. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, my man was grinding. And and we're trying to get this first dog done. That Holy Cross does come back in clutch to get Numbers off stage. Deep breathing is active, however. Yeah, Numbers taking the initiative to gather those resources at the ledge. Notice Good that Melly is not going to be going off to really do anything. Wants to set up that ledge pressure instead of edge guarding. I love that Numbers is using that low profile of Wii Fit's crouch to kind of avoid a po any possible whip action, but the Holy it Cross... Still active. Yes, it comes back even... The, 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 I think the really nail in the coffin is that it comes back even further. <laughs> so truly, Numbers just kind of forgets. Truly the Chekhov's gun. You see that, that cross be thrown in Act 1? It's coming to kill you in Act 3. And Melly is still living to 144. You see numbers try to get that forward air out of the game that those uh, three hitboxes on active, but no, not gonna be quite enough there as we see Melly once again go to our side of the stage and unfortunately untackable. Absolutely, that's an even game here. Yep, no extra credit on the board for Melly. He's gonna have to work a little bit harder to get this game back into his favor, but we're seeing already the pressure coming out. All of these projectiles interrupting the Sun Sal charge, catching the double jump here from Numbers, as Numbers usually so comfortable at the ledge, so comfortable with flanking, now you have to deal with Belmont ledge trapping. And unfortunately, that's where Melly really shines. You saw that little sequence there where it was working out very well. The cross into the axe and then the holy fire. I'm sorry, the holy water in order to just stuff out any recovery option. But John able to maneuver through that somehow. That's just the difference he has between, uh, you know, himself and me sitting here. I would just hold it personally. <laughs> All right, oh. unfortunately getting sent too far out without a jump, without a tether. Melly just wanting to reset back to neutral as soon as possible. Not, you know, waste time trying to recover. Let John get those resources. But John now with a very strong lead after a ledge scramble situation. Oh, wow, the back hit of the near coming in as well as f finishing with the forward tilt does allow numbers to get back off the ledge in that situation. But now we have the Holy Cross to deal with. We get hit by a battle a little bit, and numbers just push really far off stage. But holding that jump is so imperative in this matchup. Okay, three takes take this. this. The third one is a charm, in fact. Eventually, you're going to take this. Oh my god, that sun salutation was devious, but just barely Melly not getting caught by it. Still able to set up this ledge pressure as we try and set up these axes here. Oh but man. No, John just going a little bit too deep. And somehow Melly has only 46% to himself, and with the way that he's playing this Belmont, playing so um, passively and trying to just kind of inch oh. a little more damage on numbers slowly over time, this will become. Honestly, it may become more in favor of Melly's game right here with this positioning. Yep, we're seeing that same positioning once again with Melly at the ledge. Wow. F-Tilt, get back there. We're not done ledge trapping yet, sir. We're, oh. <laughs> we're oh. done when I say we're done. Numbers cannot play the game. He's been, I don't think he's touched the floor in about 30 seconds. No. Nope. It's just been his hands mostly. Finally, the insane rolling length from WeFit allows him to get a chance of playing this round. Yep, let's see. All right, Cross Boomerang gonna catch that neutral getup. And this oh, could be oh! huge into the kill with the uppercut. Melly taking game one emphatically. That's a 4 a.m. antics. That's the grind <laughs> really was. coming out. That was so clean. The axe into the downer and then 
connecting the uppy off of that. Oh my goodness. That's just... And I was gonna, I was saying earlier, like, the way that Millie is playing is gonna go in his favor because John cannot approach. Every time John attempts any any sort of God. approach, <laughs> it just doesn't work. The Rube Goldberg machine of Kill Confirm. <laughs> That's a really good description of Belmont. <laughs> it really Rube is. Goldberg machine. A lot of working pieces have to really come together for that thing, for that sequence to even happen. Coming together and Melly locked in like clockwork right now as we move on into game two. John Numbers taking us right back to small battlefields. You know, it's the John Numbers stage at this point. Yeah, for sure. Even though Weefa's best stage is Kalos, according to John, this one just I feel like gives a lot of people the same playing field. Even with, with Belmont playing the way that way that is playing, if it was on PS2 or Hollow Bastion, for mm -hmm. example, it'd be so much harder. But that dope, that double platform gives so much extra uh, maneuverability for numbers. All right, offstage once again has to contend with all of these meaty projectile hitboxes at the ledge. Setting himself back up. He does have some salutation online, which will cut through all of the projectiles. Not for long, however. Numbers still, even the rolling game, caught by the Holy Cross. And the water, again, going to be securing that air of, of rolling on that platform. So it's John constantly being re, 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 re grabbing ledge, getting hit, and finally John just goes right through. He pushes right through, runs up, <laughs> and grabs him. Yeah, and I, I do love the placements of the Holy Water by Melly. Obviously, as a Belmont player, you have to be uh, confident in your Holy Water placements, but especially against such a good ledge hang as we fit, oh, yes. like, you have to be pinpoint precision. Absolutely, one of the best ledge hangs in the game. Probably brought up by, brought up by Lily Gannon, ledge mm -hmm. hang, right? So. It makes it much a tiny bit harder for Melly, but I don't think he really cares. This is such a great usage of that ledge shot situation that Belmont is known for with the constant cycling through and numbers. It's just showcasing that he's adapting very well to that pattern. All right, that was kind of numbers' chance to play the game there with a potential edge guard. Oh, wow. Because, you know, that's kind of what you really need to do against Belmont. You get them off stage and it's curtains. But we're coming up now to almost two minutes of gameplay with no stocks taken just yet. Melly continuing to set up this pressure at the ledge. Eventually, it will kill. F-Tilt, I think, may be doing it. There we go. And a back air is going to be the thing that steals it. All right, numbers coming back for the fresh new stock. But Melly only 95%, even with deep breathing active, even with, with that extra heaviness, extra power, and less knockback that she receives, it simply isn't double as crazy. Yeah. It simply isn't enough. Now the thing is completely gone. It just waits it out with the with the um with the ledge, like with the constant cycle of the cross, holy water, and axe. Yeah, I do want to point out though, uh, basically full sun salutation charge online for John. He does like to hide it occasionally by charging it to like just under full, but not to full so that you don't see like the glow on it. Oh. And see right there. Surprise, it's the sun. All right, not getting the ledge trump that he wanted, unfortunately, is John, and the extra credit is rising for Melly. Already 60%. Oh, wow. And another ledge situation. John just trying to find something here with these resources at the ledge, but he, you know, we haven't seen a single, like, deep breathing F tilt. No, he's, he's, and you see John trying to go for it, trying to jump over everything, trying to go for the F tilt, but Melly is. Honestly, on top of everything, really on top of his toes, going back and forth, just narrowly n navigating away from that uh, death of the F-toe the, with the breathing active. However, we're once again in Melly's favor positioning-wise. Numbers does jump in, it does in, but then it gets punished by the axe again into the up B. It, it never goes away. Anytime you think that the cross boomerang is gone, it's oh. coming back. All right, cute little parries, though, from John. Trying to find some stage positioning here. There we some go. sort of presence. Oh, Deep my goodness. Dash attack. Not going to be doing it with no rage on the board. Uh-oh. Again? Oh, that was, that was kind of clean. I can't lie. I can't yeah. lie. Okay. That was clean. That was cute. Nice little three-piece there from Melly. I mean, we say extra credit, but, like, this is... You're taking extra classes at this point, trying to get those... Like the mega degree. Nah, you're trying to get college credits at that point. True, <laughs> that's it. You're getting that AP. IB, AP, you doing dual enrollment? I see you, Melly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he hasn't died. We're 176, 176. And Belmont is not dying. There we Finally. go. There we go. Not getting the whip right in time for that sensation, but we still have numbers a whole stock down versus uh, Melly. A whole stock down, and you know, the, the slow game just hasn't been working out for John. We only have two and a half minutes left on the clock. 
It took him four and a half to find one stock. And we don't really have another four and a half minutes. We gotta wrap it up real quick for no. numbers if he wants another game three, but We're, I don't know for us. We are not trying to have another Thursday Zeno here. Nah, I'm not trying okay, to Okay, but the, the deep breathing combos, that's a start for getting the momentum back into John's favor. Maybe start cashing out on some of these longer game plans. There, there we, we go. go. Catches the tether, and we're we're at even stocks, Mott. This could be anyone's game if yeah, John, John is able to get him off stage. I was going to say, John just said, you have combos, but so do I. I can maneuver back and forth. I can parry that. I can grab you. I can, you know, f uh, smack you across his face and bring you off stage once more. Melly now has to work a little bit harder to regain his positioning. And as I say that, he just did. Yeah, so much momentum in John's favor, but he gets put back off stage once again. Gets clipped by the holy water, clipped Retreat. by the flame as well. One yeah, thirty, it was but the forward air is going to be the thing that takes it. After Who's saying yeah? Someone outside. Is Someone's happy. Please. Someone's happy. I wish we. Uh, I wish the the camera was the tiniest bit the tiniest bit lower. So I could see the, the controller throw because I did not see that controller in his hands. The Ooh. instant he went to player cams. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that was simply a rough game to watch. It really it's a looked long like game. it it looked like John was starting to cook there at the end, getting two like two stocks in very quick mm -hmm. succession, as well as some extra percent. But like it as soon as he got put off stage one more time, it was basically over. He got put off stage. He has a, he was forced into re-grabbing the ledge multiple times. Now at some point, it's right here, re-grab. The flashing isn't isn't like the invincibility. It's the sun citation being fully charged up. You know, it's a re-grab. It's a re-grab. It's a re-grab. And at some point, you are gonna fall to the constant lingering hitbox of the holy water. You know, and John was doing a really good <clears> job <throat> at first of avoiding it over and over again. But unfortunately, at some point a little bit and it's it's how Beaumont plays and I'm gonna say it's really difficult to find your your turn to play oh yeah